Hey everybody, so as part of getting Defender set up, the first part obviously is to deploy the app out via VPP or however, on iOS, Android, whatever it is. There's some manage app config stuff, you could ignore that for now because that capability is in public preview, but I will talk about, a little bit about that in the article. The first thing I want to show you is as far as the onboarding for Defender ATP for iOS is we can actually create that VPN profile so that it'll automatically enforce some some really great capabilities where you can actually block domains. So if there are, are troublesome domains you want people to be able to browse to in Safari or, or whatnot, you can do that. Um, and it all starts with a VPN profile. And so I was able to figure this out because it's not documented. But basically you create a custom profile, identifier is com.microsoft.scmx. You're gonna put your loopback address in there. Then under custom data, you're going to create a key called auto onboard. Set that to true. No perhaps VPN rules. It will not work if you do that. You check off include all networks. User auth is going to be password. Then you'll save and publish that out. That'll push right down. And then when people get the ATP app installed, it's they're going to have to accept a few you know notification prompts and whatnot. But outside of that, it's just going to be ready onboard and you'll be ready to go which is a really great thing.